right. Hello, everybody. My name is Jamie Farland, and my presentation is on Carl Gauss, which is known as the Prince of Mathematics. All right, a little biography about him. His name is Johann Friedrich Carl Gauss. He was born on April 30th, 1777. He was born in Brunswick, Germany. He came from a very low class family. And he was married twice. Crazy thing about that is, his when, after his first wife died, he married her best friend. Oh, yeah. so he was messed. <laughs> um, he has seven children. Their names are Eugene, Therese, Wilhelm, Joseph, Wilhelmine, Louis, and Wilhelmina. Oh, he liked that. That's cute. And he died on February twenty third, eighteen fifty five. So. Okay. How old was he? Almost 80 or something around that. So it is education. So, of course, like I said, he came from like a low-class family. So he was going, they didn't say exactly what school he went to at first. But in his one of his classes, his teacher put up a very difficult mathematics problem. And he solved it in a matter of five minutes. Mm. And so after that, the teacher had spoke to his family and said, you know, he should be sent to St. Catherine public school, which is this one right here. So that kind of struck more into him learning more about math and getting more into wanting to do more with the math. So then he ended up going to Marquino Catherineum um, Grammar School, and that's where he got his undergrad in mathematics. And then after that, he went to the University of Gutenberg for his doctoral study. All right, so his mathematical contributions consist of the number theory, geometry, probability theory, theory of functions, and the fundamental theorem of algebra. Also, he for his first discovery, he stated that a regular polygon of 17 sides can be constructed with only a compass and a ruler. And that's this right here. This is how he drew it out and figured it out. Mm -hmm. And for his doctoral thesis, he proved that every polynomial equation with real or co complex coefficients has the same number of roots as it does its degree. And he wrote a book called The Des Desquisitions Arithmeticae, which is focused on number theory. This book was specifically just focusing on the number theory. So after college, he decided to pursue the science world. So he kind of left math and focused more on science. So he did astronomy. He invented a, hello, a helio troop, which is, it uses, this is diagram here. So what it does, it reflects sunlight over great distances to mark positions of participants in a land survey. So. And also, other things he did, he rediscovered the asteroid series. So, like, other astronomers had found it, and then they lost it, and he basically refound it. And he participated in the first survey of Earth's magnetic field. So, like I said, after college, he mm. started being more on the science side. So... Do, do I need to film like her, like doing like that? Okay. So now, the problem I'm going to do. So now I'm going to do the math, math, two math problems that he proved in his fundamental theorem of algebra theory. So, of course, as stated again, it's stating that any polynomial equation with real complex coefficients has the same number of roots as its degrees. So, first problem I can do of the square root of minus 9 equals 0. So, the degree in this one is 2. So, in the end, we should have two roots. So you can do difference of square. So 
as you can see, this one has the roots of negative 3 and 3. And that's the real number of roots. So next, I'm going to show a complex number one. And with this one, I'm going to do quadratic formula. Is that how you group it? Yes, ma'am. split it up now. So I've broken it down from it being negative, negative one plus or minus the square root of negative one squared minus four times one times one all over two times one to breaking it down to one plus or minus the square root of one minus four over two. So now I'm going to separate by doing the first one. We'll do one plus one minus four, the square root of one minus four over two. So we end up with thing just instead of addition and subtraction. So now in this problem our x our roots are one half plus square root of three over two i and one half minus square root of three over two i and these are complex roots and that is the fundamental theorem of algebra. Mm -hmm.